FC 2mm and 3mm splice on connector assembly video. Tools required Fitel Fusion Splicer, Fitel S325 Cleaver, 211B 3 hole stripper, Fitel S240A connector assembly tool, cordage and ferrule holders, Fitel CRP 01 crimp tool. SS-01 Kevlar scissors, fiber prep fluid, and fiber wipes. Prior to assembling your SOC connector, turn the tension test off and select the appropriate heater and splice programs on your splicer. The SOC packaging consists of a coupling nut with key, a ferrule, a combination transportation tool cap, a protection sleeve, a spring, the main body, a crimp sleeve, and a boot. Slide cordage through main body connector parts inside packaging. Open packaging, remove connector parts using the cordage. Use outermost hole on S211B three hole stripper to remove approximately one and a half inches of cordage. Use Kevlar scissors to cut Kevlar, leaving one half inch protruding from cordage edge. Use S248 connector assembly tool to make a one and a half inch split in cordage. Remove protection sleeve from packaging and slide onto 900 micron buffer. Load cordage and protection sleeve into cordage holder. Strip fiber from holder edge, leaving approximately 1 8 inch of 900 micron buffer. Strip 250 micron coating from fiber. Clean fiber using lint-free wipe and 99% isopropyl alcohol.
cleave fiber. Load cordage holder into fusion splicer. Using ferrule transportation tool, remove ferrule from packaging. Place ferrule into ferrule holder. Load ferrule holder into fusion splicer. Splice fiber. Remove splice from fusion splicer. Keeping lateral tension on ferrule transportation tool and cordage during extraction from fusion splicer and fiber holders. Center protection sleeve over splice. Center protection sleeve and protection sleeve heater, then activate heater. Heater activation is automatic with the S178 S153 and S123. Trim slick cordage so that it does not overlap the protection sleeve. Slide main body and spring up to ferrule. Insert ferrule into key. If you are assembling an APC connector, align the red dot on the ferrule with the red line on the protection cap. Thread main body into key by rotating the main body clockwise three to four turns while holding coupling nut and protection cap. Unscrew protection cap while holding the coupling nut. Reinstall the transportation tool over the ferrule end. Finish tightening the main body into the key by holding the key and rotating the main body clockwise until fully seated. Pull all Kevlar from the split cordage and distribute evenly on each side of cordage. Slide crimp ring over the end of the main body, fixing the Kevlar to the main body. Crimp Kevlar to main housing using the round.190 die. Make sure the edge of the die is aligned with the edge of the crimp ring. If you are assembling a 3mm connector, Place an additional crimp on the back of the sleeve using the dot .178 hex die. Use the dot .151 hex die for the 2 millimeter connector. Using Kevlar scissors, trim excess Kevlar protruding from the crimp ring. Slide boot onto the end of the main body until it seats against the largest part of the main body.
Remove transportation tool and reinstall the protective cap. Finished product.